from local carpenter unions to BSU construction students. Dozens of workers are dedicating time and labor to build an addition onto Boone Bartlemay's bedroom. Boone's going through a really tough time as well as the whole family. And anytime you can give back to the community, it's a great thing. And we're honored to be able to do that for him. After breaking his neck during a football game, the 16-year-old CUNA High School student is confined to a wheelchair. That's part of the reason that we formed Carpenters in Action was just to help individuals just in the need, just like the Bartlow family out here. Local unions and businesses are donating labor and supplies for the 300-square-foot addition for Boone's recovery. The new room will have an ADA-compliant bathroom for Boone with lowered countertops and an area for rehab exercises. Crews are also adding a wheelchair ramp to the home entrance, widening doorways, and making adjustments to the existing home. They're, they're redoing the flooring material so the wheelchair can get around, you know, taking out the carpet and putting in some hardwood floors. Giving Boone an almost new house now that he's back home. I've never seen any, any community come together like this for a single individual. And you can kind of judge Boone's character based on that. If you if these many people are coming out to help and support and do what they can for Boone to improve his day-to-day -day activities, I mean, that just says wonders for him. The Bartlemays are staying with friends during the renovation process, and construction managers hope the project will be ready for Boone in early March. Live in studio, I'm Karen Laird. Today, six on your side.